You guys better appreciate what I do for you because I have this unboxed Ryzen 1750X just sitting in storage since October and since then they got a lot cheaper. All while I couldn't even open it up because I had to make a video about it. And do you know how hard it is not to open a CPU that's this awesome that's just sitting there waiting? Tempting you, but today we'll see exactly how much money I wasted by going for the most premium of AMD CPUs and running it with my B650E motherboard. And here it is, boys: the Ryzen 7950X opening experience. Yeah, there it is. This is what you paid almost one thousand dollars for. Hope you're happy. I have never even owned anything remotely as powerful as this. My current CPU is a 3700X, so only an 8 core, and even before that, I owned another 8 core, an FX8350. So, this is all very, very new to me. And what's also new to me is this. This is just still so cursed seeing an LGA AMD CPU. But hey, if this is what the future looks like, then I'm mighty excited. I mean, sure, the box is pretty great and all, you can even see like a pretty cool, like, gloss Ryzen logo here. But do you get anything else? Nope, you just get you just get this, a massive block of thick foam. Now motherboard wise, I am going for this, the B650E Aorus Master, which I've already done a video on, so definitely check it out if you haven't already, it's gonna be up in the iCards. Now I can't be bothered to attach some more proper cooling right now, because this is only a temporary setup, so I'm gonna go for a thermal pad right here, and a Wraith uh, Prism cooler, because it's already, the standups are already there and I can't be bothered to change them. Is that barely enough for this grade of CPU? Yeah, obviously, but again, this is only a very, very temporary setup. Okay, and uh, just like that, we are ready to go. Uh, no, we're not, we still need memory. Now for the final build, I'll be using 64 gigs of DDR5 memory, but for now, we'll just be using one of these kits. Now, just for the purposes of testing, I'm gonna use this Radeon R9 280X. It's good enough, and it's not gonna set your house on fire, which is a nice touch. And while this motherboard does support two full 8 pins for CPU power, the PSU I'm using only has one, so that's what I'm going for, for now. Okay, everything is in order, I think, so let's power on the PSU. The light here has turned on, so that is a good sign, I hope, I think. So, let's see if this even works. It's... it's on. Nothing's blowing up yet, that's a, always a good sign. I think we're in the clear. Let me just quickly change output. And here we are in the BIOS. Everything seems to be in order. Let's just quickly turn on XMP or whatever. AMD calls it, there we go. And no, we want to save that, save, and let's see exactly how well the CPU even performs. And if, or rather, how much money I actually wasted. Now, uh... That ain't good, we're not even getting a, a signal from it anymore, which is uh, never a good sign, but whatever. Let's just reset it then. And we are still not getting an output, which is even more irritating and concerning. And this is interesting, it's detecting an SSD, but it's not detecting it as a bootable device. That's not supposed to happen. Come on, please boot, please boot, please boot. I'm begging you, otherwise I won't have a video here. And, and, it didn't boot. Okay, I really, really wanted to show off what the CPU can do here. Or rather exactly how much it won't really matter to me. Because, well, sure, it is an amazing CPU that is fast, but the issue is that, at least in my use cases, that's kind of not really important. Not only do I play games at 4K, which is almost entirely GPU bottlenecked, unless you're playing something like Microsoft Flight Sim, but also professional video production, like, you know, what you're allegedly watching right now, is also going way more GPU bound nowadays rather than CPU bound. Granted, there's still a lot of stuff that requires a good and fast CPU, but whatever, if you want to see how well it performs, you have to wait for the main build, which I will go and record like 
in five minutes. So if you want to see some benchmarks, definitely stay around for that video. And hey, while you're here, if you want to make me feel better about spending so much money on a CPU that I can't even get to boot for some reason, then maybe check out our Patreon, because even one single dollar month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Justin Rage, Ella Vroniak, Bart Schwelker, Max Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much, support truly goes a long way. Down here you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.